Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we'll learn how to personalize our shortcuts in Wondershare Filmora 10. Shortcuts are a wonderful way to speed up your workflow. By memorizing and using them, we can save a lot of time that we wouldn't have spent by clicking on options or looking for them. Like for example, when editing, we can use the left and right arrows to move the playhead one frame forward and backward. The up and down arrows will move the playhead to the next cut or previous cut. We can copy a selected clip pressing Ctrl or Command C, or cut it with Ctrl or Command X, and paste it with Ctrl or Command V. Of course, we can save our project hitting Ctrl or Command S but sometimes we might want to edit some shortcuts to fit them to our personal needs. In Filmora 10, we can edit our shortcuts by going to the menu bar and selecting Keyboard Shortcuts. Or why not open this menu with the shortcut Ctrl-Alt-K on Windows or Command-Shift-K on Mac. Here we'll have all the shortcuts listed to learn or change the ones we want. They're divided by sections, so they're easy to find and we also have a search bar on the top. So, as an example, let's say I use the split tool a lot when editing, and I want to change its shortcut to another hotkey. I'll search for split, and I'll change it to, let's say, the F key. I'll click on OK, and now when I'm working on the timeline, every time that I hit the F shortcut, the clip will be split. If I open the shortcut window, we can see that now there is a reset arrow next to the split shortcut. So I can switch it back to default. If I set a shortcut that's already being used by another feature, we'll get a warning sign to make sure we're not making any mistake. And if we click on Restore Default, all the changes that we've done to the shortcuts will be reset. So, that was a look at changing keyboard shortcuts in Filmora 10. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos in the series to keep learning and keep creating.